I am now creating weekly exclusive content for Patreon, so if you are interested in that, go check out the link down below. And of course, if you want to avoid the random lottery of FIFA points, you want to go straight to the source, buy the players directly, use u7buy.com and use the code TVM at checkout. What is going on guys, Tivim here, welcome back to another Team of the Season predictions. I've gone with the Turkish League, but tomorrow I will also have Latin America, because I'm really not sure which one will come out next. Muslera is the first player, 78 saves, 1 penalty save, 12 clean sheets, 7.22 match rating. He's going to get chosen, he's like the highest rated and the best goalkeeper in the league. Uh, I'm, and again, I'm going to apologise now, because I absolutely ruined pronunciations in a couple of the other videos that I've done, so I'm not even going to try and pronounce this guy's name. Uh, he's also, he's got one assist actually, four clean sheets, 95 saves, and um, yeah, could uh, could could get in there. Erkin, Erkin, not sure. Eight assists, seven clean sheets, 30 tackles, 31 appearances, 35 interceptions, 7.22 average match rating, and I know a lot of people have questioned uh, English speakers are not able to pronounce anything that isn't English. I'm not actually like an English speaker. I am, obviously, because I'm speaking English, but it's not my first language, so that's my excuse. Mariano, with five assists, 10 clean sheets, 42 tackles, 41 clearances, and 39 interceptions. Not bad at all. Uh, let's move on to Aziz. Aziz, Aziz. Uh, he's... I mean, he's pretty much always in team of the season. He's not as high rated as he was maybe last year, year before. 36 tackles, 57 clearances, 22 interceptions and four goals this season. Not too bad at all. I'm Welsh, by the way, and Welsh is my first language. I can actually speak it fluently. Uh, so there we go. That's my excuse. I get confused sometimes. Martin Skirtle. I hope this guy is a flashback and I hope he's like 89, 90 rated. And I hope his pace is a lot more than 70. I will force him into a team if I have to. Six clean sheets, 18 tackles, 83 clearances and four goals. Not too bad, Martin. You carry on. He's like 35 right now as well, which is crazy. Marcao, 10 clean sheets, 40 tackles, 76 clearances and 38 interceptions. With a pretty decent uh, 7.11 average match rating, which is pretty much the average for every defender. So that's why I've not been mentioning them too much. Uh, we're going to move on now to a player who could either get himself a team of the season or a flashback or whatever. Uh, it is, of course, Gal Clichy. Six clean sheets, 41 tackles, 56 clearances and 56 interceptions with two goals and three assists. Not bad at all, but like I said, could be a flashback, could be the league SBC player, could be a standard SBC, and it's the same for Martin Skirtle as well. Let's move on to Sosa, probably the best, uh, well, not the best, but probably one of the most well-rounded cards to speak of. Six goals, seven assists, 74 tackles and 70 key passes with 1,208 accurate passes. Average match rating? 7.78. That is, by the way, the highest of anyone in the league. That is impressive stuff. Visca is always in it. 11 assists, 8 goals, 71 key passes, 17 big chances created, which is a lot. I think that's more than anyone else in the league. And a 7.46 average match rating. This guy always gets a team of the season. He's probably one of, if not the highest rated player in the Turkish league right now anyway. And there we go. Uh, Byram. This guy has 10 assists, 1 goal. And 51 key passes as well as 9 big chances created. He's actually a left back, but I'm not sure whether he'll be uh, promoted to a left mid or be a left wing back in team of the season. So just bear that in mind. Mensa, probably the worst looking one by the goalkeeper, unfortunately. 8 assists, 3 goals, 43 key passes and 10 big chances created. Uh, I, I don't really know whether he'll make it because obviously they don't have that many they normally they don't choose like 23 they choose like 10 uh Krusa, who has a league sbc card so i actually wouldn't mind not seeing him just for a little bit of variety 14 goal contributions seven each goals and assists 44 key passes and a 7.13 average match rating which isn't as high as some of the other players available so like i said he would be a really good card and, and quite simple to link but still hutchinson a player that would not be easy to link but would be an insane card he's actually better well-rounded than sosa is uh, four goals four assists 30 key passes 43 tackles and 28 interceptions it's not me going overboard with ratings as well by the way it's just because some cards have informs and others don't so it's kind of like they've been naturally boosted yeah let's not try and pronounce that six assists 10 goals uh 25 tackles in there as well not too bad although his defending is not going to be that high and then 7.2 
average match rating, not bad at all. I, I can pronounce certain things, it's just Welsh and English is like vastly different, so it's really difficult for me to adapt other languages, you know. Luis Casavo is our final midfielder in the quote-unquote starting squad. Three goal contributions, 35 interceptions, four, uh, 54 tackles and 27 clearances. I mean, let's be real. He is a big name in that league, so EA will choose him regardless of what he's done. Let's move on to the attackers then. Soloth, a Crystal Palace legend. He probably isn't, but still, 19 goals is massive. Seven assists as well, 31 key passes, and a 32% goal conversion, which is it's decent. It's not as good as uh, it could be, but it's not bad. Considering he scored that many goals, I actually think it would I thought it would have been higher, but there we are. Moving on to another Premier or former Premier League player, I should say, Papi Cisse. 16 goals, one assist. 20% goal conversion. I mean, that is horrendous. And a 7.15 match rating. I say horrendous when you compare it to uh, the 32 of Soloth and you compare it to our next player. Yeah, quite bad. Speaking of which, Stanku, 40% goal conversion, which is incredibly good. And then 12 goals, 4 assists. And uh, just above average, or just above 7 match rating, I should say, means that he should get in. But it's not a great looking card, so would you realistically want it to get in over the likes of Sorloth or some of the other players coming up? Jehovic, again, he doesn't look amazing, but he looks better than uh, Stanku. 13 goals, 1 assist, 25% goal conversion rate, and pretty much the same average match rating as Stanku. So there we go. I mean... In terms of the pace, I've tried to give them as big a boost as possible without going too unrealistic. It's the same with Demba Bar. I'd like to give him like mid-80s, but he was never really that fast anyway, was he? So Demba Bar, 12 goals, 4 assists, 20 key passes, 30% goal conversion. That's not too bad when you look at the goal like number that he has. Uh, but when you look at like 19 goals for Soloth and it's only 32, yeah, it's a bit disappointing. But there we are. Falcao, 10 goals, 1 assist, 35% goal conversion, which is really good. He's quite clinical. And then 7.10 average match rating. Let's be honest, once more, like we are with the likes of Luis Gustavo and Muslera and things like that, he's a big name in not, not a small league by any stretch of the imagination, but it's a big name. Everyone knows who Falcao is, if you know football. So, yeah, he's going to get in there, let's be honest. Let's get into some honourable mentions that could very well make it in terms of SBC objectives or just in the team itself. Hakam Arslan, 7 goals, 2 assists, 64 tackles, average match rating 7.00. This guy has a league SBC card, of course. Would be unbelievably well-rounded. Better than Sosa and Hutchinson, I think. I'd love it, but will EA do it? That's the question. Let's move on to Faguli. Not a great-looking card. I tried to boost it, like, moderately. Like, I tried to give him a realistic boost, but I just I couldn't go any higher than this because he hasn't really done that much this season. Five goals, three assists, 31 key passes. That's not amazing. Average match rating is above seven, to be fair, but it's not amazing. And... Our final honourable mention is Gurla. Now, uh, Sirdar Gurla has five assists and five goals with 40 key passes, which is better than Faguli, so you could argue, and that actually doesn't look like a bad card, you could argue that he deserves to be there more. What I'm going to do now is show you five players that realistically don't deserve to get into Team of the Season, but this is EA. So, Charisma, four goals in 19 games. He already has a flashback, so this could be one that they leave out, but because of who Charisma is and, and that card and how good it looks. I wouldn't be surprised if EA were to throw him in there just for the sake of it. They did it in La Liga with a couple of players. Griezmann, for example, he doesn't really deserve to be there. Lijic, three goals, six assists in 22 games. That's not too bad, actually. It's better than maybe Faguli, for example. Um, 6.94 average match rating, nowhere near as high as nearly everyone if not everyone in the the prediction so far so i wouldn't mind too much if he made it in there but i'm just picking out the big names here comes bell hander again another player that i mean realistically i mean this guy has done almost nothing three goals one assist and he's only played 15 games this season if he makes it into team of the season then i mean what is the point L literally what is the point two players to go we're sort of cranking it back up into the players that could deserve to be there now visca he, sorry, not Visca, Vida. He doesn't really deserve to be there, but that card would be really, really nice. Uh, eight clean sheets in 25 games, 6.86 average match rating. Nowhere near as high as the likes of Aziz, Mariano, or Skirtle, or, or even Clichy, but still. And finally, this one's actually cranked it back into... He could have actually made it into the actual prediction rather than just the honourable mention mentions, if that makes sense. Guilherme. Now, he has... 
a League SBC card. But I mean, look how good that card would be. For an 87 rated card who would be no more than, say, 60k, five goals, six assists in 24 games, but an average match rating of 7.27 is on par, if not higher, than the majority of the midfielders that I've chosen for the actual prediction. So I could definitely see him getting one, but the other four, Charisma, Liaich, Belhanda, and Vida, they would be, I mean, that would be almost criminal if EA included those. It would be like, they don't really care, they just want your attention, they just want you to buy the packs. We know that's the case, but it would just be blatant if they did that. So we'll have to wait and see what happens, but that's my prediction for the Turkish League. As I said at the very beginning, I'm not sure whether we're going to get Latin America or Turkish League. Everyone is saying Latin America, but La Liga last year was tied with the Turkish League. And of course, the Premier League was tied with the Saudi League, and that's what came out. So I wouldn't be surprised to see the Turkish League tied to La Liga this year, and that's why I've kind of gone with this. But I will do Latin America tomorrow, just to give you some idea, just in case they're out on Monday. Let me know what you think of the cards in the comments. Anyone you're looking forward to, anyone you just think, nah, me doesn't deserve to be there, feel free to let me know. If you have enjoyed the video, hit that like button, subscribe to the channel for new, and until the next time, goodbye. Football Index. The game changed. Download the app now.